Hi, so I chose to talk about Roger Olson and how he believes or claims in the book anyway that um, all sins are equal and that some sins pain God more than others. So his main reasons I found were first, he says that some sins more effectively ruin lives more than others. Both the individual's physical, emotional, and mental well-being and their relationship with God. He also says that it tears at the fabric of one's life, including one's spiritual life with God. It damages character because it's addictive, and it leads to even more sin and worse sin, um, and it distorts and destroys relationships, and it goes against love. And his second reason, he claims that some sins do greater damage to the church than others. The church's reputation is destroyed by immorality, especially among its leaders. It creates division within the body of Christ, and it sets up a bad atmosphere that blocks the work of the Spirit among the people. And then it continues to say, um, as it concludes the chapter, I wrote down a little bit of the ending of the chapter because I thought it was interesting. So it says, all sin is equal in God's sight, insofar as it goes without repentance and expresses an evil disposition of the heart. But some sins are especially destructive to ourselves and our relationship with God. And some sins are particularly damaging to the church's spiritual health, unity, and reputation. So, while reading this, um, growing up and in my own faith and um, just learning about sin when I became a new believer um, at a young age, but I was always taught and told that sin is sin and no matter what it is, whenever you sin, you are blocking the relationship with God. And so I disagree with Olson on that. I feel like Olson is focusing on the human perspective of sin, which I understand because he's trying to relate to us. But um, God does not view our sin in the way that we do. Because sin is sin and just, beca just because you steal something and another person murders someone. That does not make me a better person because I only stole somebody. Or <laughs> because I only stole something instead of murdering someone. Because it still blocks me from God. And it is still just as bad. God looks at our motives and he looks at our hearts. And someone stealing a lollipop and someone murdering... Those two people both have the same intention of doing something wrong, of doing something bad, known as sin. And in God's eyes, he views it all the same. So in that way, I do disagree with Olson. Um, but I thought it was very interesting to read about and reflect on. But um, in that, I do think that probably his biggest reason and biggest main reason um, is how it affects the church. And I do agree, sin is very, it's just, sin is terrible. It, it just wrecks havoc on relationships, it wrecks havoc on the church, um, on our relationship with God, with our families. Yes, I do agree with that. But I believe that God views all of our sin as the same. Because it is sin, and he looks at our hearts, he looks at our motives. And so, yeah, that's kind of what I got out of this chapter. So, thank you.